then the alcohol in turn breaks down to carbon dioxide and water. But every time that breakdown takes place, there is a pulse of energy that is given. It is a fuel. Now we can fuel the body with mind, or we can fuel the body with chemical elements. But once you start, all of you, please, this is very, very key, to move away from chemical to the energies of the cosmic forces. You're dealing with a force which is eternal, which is totally balancing, which does not create these ups and downs, this violence. And that is what I'm trying to swing us into. Because you can put, with your intention, a force in here that can balance a body, can give the same effect as sugar. In other words, a high without the secondary effects of the overloading. And can you take out sort of by the sugar effect? Absolutely, by right on. By active challenge. I've done that. I've quieted a person like that. Good. Just going in like that now. The by your active child will suddenly quiet down and become relaxed. Because what you do, but you, please, you must have the precise knowledge in your mind, in your brain, of what you are doing. Just swinging the crystal around doesn't help you. You must know the syndrome, you must understand the symptom of what is happening, and then when you treat, you get an effect. Because you're transferring a pattern from your knowledge, from your experience to that child, and when you get the right transfer of a charge, it takes place. Now, you asked again about the crystal. What is the value of the crystal? It is a computer. It is a mind computer. It is a means of holding patterns of thought. Cut to various shapes that I have now, I can take that thought and amplify it in here. Exactly the same way as we in the past in forest, the forest took a weak electric charge, created these vacuum tubes which are going now to semi to, to micro-logic circuitry to take a weak electrical charge, amplify it, and do useful function with it. So I am building crystals as the amplifier of the thought forms of man and woman. This is our computer. And we then can use this wisely, intelligently, to take a thought, build it up, put it to work, and help. In place of chemical therapy, drugs, tranquilizers, and the like, we use the power of love combined with the knowledge in our brain to effect a change that has been done now systematically with chemical agents. You see what I'm leading into? You see why it is so big? I will be attacked by drug industries because it will be a real competition once the thing starts to spread out and to grow. I want to deal with these things in a loving way. I'm not after money or anything like that. I want to deal with real knowledge. So you can create a, a thought form, an image. Right. It is not necessary to be words, an image. It's, it's a deal with it. You deal with, see, when you deal into what I call essence chemistry, you're dealing with the imaging, we're dealing with the geometry, you don't deal with the bits and pieces way, way down. You're dealing with the substance of the thing. I think it's time for a break 
and then we'll come back in and do some experiencing with our pistols. Will you come? I have a rather nice paper here. <clears throat> it was written by Robert N. Miller. The title of the paper is Para <clears throat> Electricity, a Primary Energy. And I'd like to offer this to you. I understand Kurt has brought with him a copy machine. Yes. Is it here? Yes, it's outside. It's in outside. And so, during the break period, <clears throat> you're welcome to copy this. But it, it gives the work that Dr. Miller has done with Alga Morel <clears throat> and the nature of the force that you and I are talking about. 